Hi everyone, welcome to this new section and in this section we are going to talk about backup and recovery in Hyperlayer Fabric and we are going to take a look in this particular section like how we can take a backup of our fabric network and how we can do the uh, restoration as well. So backups are going to help us during the disaster recovery or if you want to take a periodical backup just to ensure that things are in the safer side we can uh, use a tool called Velero to take the backup and Velero will also help us in restoring the backup as well. So uh, let's go to the screen here and uh, here I have a section added which is section 19 and this particular section talks about the backup and the recovery process. Now in this particular section I'll be showing you how you can set up Velero across three different cloud uh, Azure, AWS and DigitalOcean and if you're using any other cloud, then you can always refer the Velero documentation for uh, learning how to set up uh, Velero across different cloud. So uh, let's talk about what is Velero and how Velero works. And we'll talk about uh, the architecture of the Velero as well. So Velero is an open source tool uh, developed by VMware. Uh, and this tool is used for taking the backup and do the restoration in a Kubernetes environment. So Velero works in a Kubernetes environment and this is one of the prerequisite when you want to take a backup using Velero. There are some key features of the Velero. You can take the backups, you can do restorations. Velero can also help in migrations as well. Assume that you want to migrate your workloads from one cluster to another cluster. Velero can help you in that. You can also schedule backups. You can have recurring backups where you can schedule them for a regular interval and Velero will take the backups. It's completely cloud native and which means that it is built for uh, different clouds and it supports different clouds like AWS, GCP, DigitalOcean, uh, all these uh, cloud it does support. Let's talk about the architecture of the Velero as well. So Velero uh, comes in two modes. One is the CLI and second one is the Velero server. Now this Velero server runs in your Kubernetes cluster and Velero CLI is available locally and uh, we use this Velero CLI to perform operations on the Velero server like if you want to create any backups, if you want to do restoration, if you want to create some scheduled backup, all this is done with the help of Velero CLI. So Velero CLI acts as an interface uh, and using this we can trigger various operations like the backup and the restoration. Uh, Velero server on the other hand runs as a controller into the Kubernetes cluster and uh, uh, it runs as a deployment and basically it is going to watch certain resources like the backup and the restoration resources and whenever these resources are created or modified uh, Velero takes actions onto those resources. So when we set up Velero we are also going to set up the custom resource because Velero uh, requires custom resource definitions in order to operate and these custom resource definitions are the backup uh, custom resource then restoration custom resource and the schedule uh, custom resource. Then uh, there is something called as backup uh, storage as well. And backup storage is a piece where we define where exactly our backup should be stored. Now, when we create backups using Velero, there are two kinds of backups that uh, Velero creates. Uh, first is the backup of all the resources that are there. Now, what I meant by resources is, let's say you have a deployment running, you have pod running, you have some secrets, some config map, right? All these configurations which can be easily uh, you know stored in the form of a YAML manifest file or which are created using the YAML files right these are stored uh, into something called as object storage now in case of Azure or any other cloud this will be stored in the form of uh, S3 uh, objects but in case of Azure we, these, these are stored in the form of blob storage now this was on the static files right where we have the configuration the other uh, thing that we have to take the backup is the data, actu the actual data. And we know that in Kubernetes, we persist the data with the help of PV and PVCs. Now PVCs are, uh, uh, and uh, the, the actual data is stored in the, uh, in the PVs and PVCs are an interface uh, that acts as an interface between PV and our actual pods. So PVC sits in between, uh, whereas PV is the actual uh, storage location. Uh, where the data is stored. Now, when we have to take the backup of this data as well, we use something called a snapshots. And what we do is uh, behind the scene, these PVs are managed in the form of a disk into these clouds, 
be it Azure or AWS or any other cloud, they create those disks for us whenever we provision a PV. And Valero, what does uh, Valero? What it does is it basically creates the snapshot of those disks. So whenever we create a uh, backup, right, backup that includes both the backup of the resources plus the data. So for resources, it simply stores them into the uh, S3 or the object storage. But whereas for the data part, it creates a snapshot of those disks, and then it then these snapshots are stored in the respective cloud, right? So Azure. Uh, AWS, DigitalOcean, like all these support a uh, snapshotting feature where the actual data is form, uh, stored in the form of snapshots. And when we do restoration as well, these snapshots are used to uh, restore the data. So uh, yeah, so persistent storage volume is uh, snapshot is the same thing that uh, what I discussed in, uh, in order to take the data backup, the data which is stored in the PVs, we use persistent volume snapshots and Velo does supports plugin where you can also build your custom plugins if you have a specific requirement where you want to perform operations in a certain sequence. You can use uh, Velero plugins and there are some built-in plugins as well or uh, that comes that's a, that are already available in the form of open source code. Uh, that are specific for uh, these different cloud like AWS, GCP, Azure, right? We use these plugins and uh, Valero uh, consumes this plugin and takes the backup and restoration. All these things is done with the help of these plugins because these plugins have the all those API, uh, API capabilities that tells Valero how to take the backup whether you are using AWS, whether you are using Azure or any other cloud, right? These plugins ensures that the backup is taken, uh, you know, respectively in the in the specified cloud. And restoration is what we have already discussed, like where users simply request for a restore and Valero pull, pull up the corresponding data from the object store and then it creates those resources, uh, whatever is present in the form of that backup. OK, let's talk about the backup flow, like how exactly the backup actually uh, happens. So Valero uh, whenever we run this command Valero backup create and then you give the name of the backup that you wish to have for your backup. So whenever we do the, uh, run this command Valero uh, CLI creates a custom resource right and that resource is a backup resource and that resource is stored into the cube API server. Uh, in the etcd via cube api server so the sources are persisted into the etcd server etcd etcd is basically the database and cube api server is the api server which it takes the incoming uh, request and then stores that uh, object into the etcd now we have a valero backup control that is already running and that backup controller always watches up for the resources and it basically watches for the backup resource to get created Right. So whenever there is a resource that is created like the backup resource, Valero backup control get notified because it is always watching for those resources and it takes the backup and it takes two kind of backup that I already discussed. Uh, one is the data backup and second one is the resources backup or the manifest file backup. Right. And then it it's, uh, stores them to the cloud provider or, or the uh, uh, to their object storage. Right. And if we have, uh, if we want to take the back data backup as well, uh, that is done via the snapshot of disk via those APIs that comes with the these plugins. So uh, let me draw this, uh, you know, uh, think uh, one more time for you. So this is the Kubernetes cluster, right? This is our uh, Kates cluster, and what uh, happens is that whenever we install the Valero, uh, there is a Valero server that is running. Valero server that is running and whenever we send a, any request, let's say we want to create a backup, right? There is a backup controller that is running in the Valero server and then Valero server is uh, simply uh, going to watch for all the backup resources and whenever there is a new object creation or any modification that happens to the backup resource, well, the backup control in the Valero get triggered and then it takes the backup, be it a resource backup or the snapshots via those uh, APIs, uh, the APIs that comes within the uh, uh, within those plugins. So this was, uh, yeah, this is what I wanted to discuss in this particular lecture. Now in the next lecture, we are going to take a look how we can install the Valero CLI 
and in subsequent lecture we are going to configure it for different clouds as well and to the actual backup and restoration for our fabric network so this was it for this lecture and also in the next one